Hello everyone, welcome to the first Let's Play of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Um, the, uh, both the, uh, this and its sequel were on sale recently and I, I, uh, and I decided to replay them and record some Let's Plays, because I have already played through both of them. Now I hope you can hear me over the, the game music, because um, as you can see there's no way, at least in here, for me to reduce the volume of the music, and it can be quite loud. I mean, my dog was startled and I'm wearing a headset. So yeah. Um, let's go for normal. <clears throat> I don't really remember everything about the, the games, I remember the uh, general vibe of the story. And that that's basically it. Uh, they're quite ni uh, nice games in my opinion. Although they are obviously uh, made for... Get a move on, Oli boy! Uh, made for children. Me. I should have probably but switched this to Japanese. Hmm. I'll change the... Uh, <clears throat> the voice in a bit. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Right, although it's clearly made for children, you know, it deals with, with adult themes, and it's fairly mature, I think. Again, despite presenting things in a way that children can understand. That's right! A whole nother world. Beautiful, innit? I'll let the intro play. Ah, right, of course, if you didn't uh, already guess by the distinctive look, this was obviously animated by Studio Ghibli. And I mean, it <coughs> in regards to Studio Ghibli, uh, basically anything they make is good. I say basically just because I doubt uh, I've seen everything they have. Pretty sure I haven't seen everything they have. Uh, and I mean, no studio is is perfect. So I'm guessing they have at least something that isn't quite as good. On the other hand, for, for Ghibli, not quite as good is still pretty damn good. At least from what I've come to expect of them. <clears throat> I'll try to, to hold back on, on any spoilers as I play, uh, but you know, no, no promises, sometimes I... <laughs> I forget and just blab about some big secret. Huh. It's interesting, there are black bars at the top and bottom. I'm not sure what resolution this is supposed morning, to be Ms. in. Layla. Why, good morning, Oliver. Your groceries are over there, honey. Thanks. I've noticed that that some games, for some reason, think my my resolution is 1440p instead of 1080p. For some reason, uh, even Windows, actually, it's probably because of Windows, uh, thinks that that is a supported resolution by my monitor, but it isn't. It actually causes a lot of issues. Because uh, sometimes the games launch in 1440p. What? Oh, I'm here. supposed to. Never mind. I'm supposed to click. Hmm. 
as I was saying, uh, they launched in 1440p, obviously my monitor doesn't like that, so it says resolution not supported, or input not supported, I think that's it. Uh, and, <clears throat> you know, I have to do some file editing, usually some file editing, to make it actually run properly. I need to ask my mom, and... Sure, sure. You go ask your mom. And then when do we do it, huh? Tomorrow? Next year? Well, I... mean, tomorrow I... would be no, fine. But... Okay, we'll do it tonight. But we'll have to be real quiet. Sure we will. Okay, tonight in my garage. Be there, or be school. Sure! Come to think of it, I'll leave it in English. I feel like it's better for... For Let's Plays, because otherwise you'd have to constantly read the subtitles. Or so says the Crystal Lord, your radiance. Hmm. This is the White Witch. power alone will not suffice. I fear not. What is the child's name? Oliver. Your radiance. Oliver. I know I just said I, I wouldn't, uh, I, I tried to, <clears throat> I tried to keep spoilers to a minimum, I don't think m mentioning that that's the White Witch is a spoiler, I'm pretty sure she is in, she's in the, oh so I could have actually gone straight ahead, pretty sure she, she's in all the artwork, or most of it anyway, that doesn't only depict the, the heroes. Ah, right, here you can't change the camera angle for whatever reason. I don't understand it myself, but that's the way it is. Pretty sure that in the other world you can, 99% sure. I should mention, if you hey, like what you see here, I got the groceries. and decide yeah, to buy the sequel, keep in mind uh, that the sequel is very dissimilar to this game. It's much more complete in terms of mechanics. Well, complete is not the right word. It has many more mechanics that you need to learn. Um, and I'll, I'll wait until the dialogue is finished. Yes, I suppose I will. Oh, you will, huh? Yeah, he's thinking of sneaking out. Will you stop being so mysterious and eat your breakfast? You'll be late for school. Indeed, eat mm, your breakfast. Yeah, chew. Chewing is important, kids. I'm not even joking, like, chewing is actually very important. Thanks for breakfast, Mom. See you later, Mom. Bye, sweetie. You be good now. I will. Right, where was I? So... <clears throat> The second game is actually very, very different from this one. So if you like what you see here, and you think, you know what, I'll go for the sequel, because, um, uh, because, you know, if it's the sequel, then it must have better mechanics and whatnot. Uh, the combat is similar, not the same, it is similar, very slightly similar. Uh, but the setting and uh, the overall gameplay is very, very different. So again, if you like what you see here, do not immediately buy the sequel. You will most likely like it, don't get me wrong. But it is different. Very different. Yes, they limited the, the usage of the main menu. Okay, ah. Sorry, just a sec. I got a message on my phone. I'm actually waiting for a particular message. <clears throat> It wasn't the, the message that I got, but I am waiting for something. No. All right. Now, the Dream Machine, as you probably guessed from the name of the city, or the town, or whatever, 
is a car. I'm not sure how kids were able to build a car, but it is a car. Yeah, sure, that won't draw attention or anything. What is it with that kid? What kept you, Slowpoke? Sorry, my mom just wouldn't go to bed. So, is it finished? Sure is. The last bearing's in, and she's primed for action. Wanna see? Do I ever! All right. Here goes nothing. Okay! Another good reason to keep the English voices is that the, the subtitles are going to be for the... The English version. So they're not going to be accurate translations of what they're seeing in Japanese. It's not even close. It's a very nice car, don't get me wrong. Just very, very weird. Her olds. I'm not sure that was ever slang for uh, for parents. All right, the ghost is clear. I better go tell Phil. Don't go. Hmm. Huh? It's bad. Please, Oliver, don't go. Indeed, don't huh? go. Who are you? How do you know my name? Ollie! What's taking you so long? I'm sorry, Phil. Someone saw me. Oh, man. Who was it? Oh, uh, that girl over. And she's gone. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? There's nobody there. That's weird. She was right there. A girl. A girl, huh? Mm-hmm. I bet it was that dumb, scary Mary. Oh, no. Couldn't be. She's not allowed out. You must be going screwy or something. Anyway, come on. Or, you know, oh, she just turned okay. the corner. There's a corner right there, but fine. Or she disappeared through magic. Don't you people lo uh, know you live in a world with magic? Come on. Oliver. The boy who will save the world. But unfortunately. His light is yet a mere candle in the blackness. Indeed. He may be the child the prophecies speak of, but he is a child nonetheless. Yet these humans can be disturbingly powerful. One villains should already know to trust the prophecies. The land entirely. Might this one not prove equally tenacious? What would you have me do, Your Radiance? Such saplings must not be suffered to grow. Very well, your radiance. Oh dear, what do you think is going to happen with the car? He who would save this doomed world must die. Now, obviously, it was a, a dream or something. Well, actually, it was probably like the bird or the white witch. But any good parent would go check on their kid, nonetheless. Where are you? Oliver? And, of course, when she doesn't find the kid, she's worried. Yes, she should be. busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. And she figures it out. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? <gasps> Oliver. He snuck out. Oliver! Maybe 
noticed how in uh, in Japanese shows there's usually an area like this, <coughs> like it uh, has a pathway for pedestrians, then inclination and water. Sometimes not, uh, it doesn't have a path for pedestrians, but you know it's got some grass and inclination, then water. I know it's an actual structure that that uh, is formed naturally, but it just it just feels like every single show has something like that. Kid, the brake. Use the brake. Oh my god. Okay, if you don't have a license, here's some good advice. The brake is your best friend, not the accelerator. It's pointless to go fast if, you know, this is what happens. And fun fact, good brakes are usually more important than uh, a good accelerator <clears throat> uh, to be able to, to drive quickly. Because if you have good brakes, you can slow down in curves in a much shorter distance than if your brakes were shitty. So, you know, you can stay at the same speed slightly longer. Oliver? Oliver, wake up! Where did all these, all these people come from? Oh, sweetie, I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. Seriously, where did I'm they sorry. come from? I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about your car? That hunk of junk, I can make another one in no time. Well, I think you two have had quite enough excitement for one day. Yes, ma'am. Jack, are you okay, Phil? Must have twisted my ankle back there. <laughs> Whatever will you uh, children get up to uh, next? Uh, huh? Uh, Allie, Allie. Uh, Allie? Are you okay? Uh, Mom? Heart attack. Oh, well, finally, someone remembers that there are doctors. Why is the doctor not here? Oliver, I mean, all these people came up, oh, uh, appeared out of nowhere, oh. okay. <coughs> but nobody oh, thought to call a doctor for the drowning child. Be good now. For me. Yes, she is actually going to die. Yeah, this hurts. If this is your first time, <clears throat> this is obviously confusing. How did she sacrifice herself for a kid? I mean, she just, you know, went in. On the other hand, yeah, the heart. But it does seem weird. At least to me. You know what food tastes better after your mom dies? Nothing. Everything tastes like shit. I mean, I haven't had the displeasure of the experience, thankfully. But I'm guessing that's what it feels like. Everything tastes like shit. Everything feels like shit. And nothing ever feels right again. I think he's like 
10 or something. That's usually the the age for these protagonists. So, I mean, I can't even imagine losing my mom at that age. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. Be good while mommy's away, okay? Mommy! Is something wrong, sweetie? Just come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together, Oliver. That's not his mom, in case you're feeling a bit emotional. That's actually a fairy. Huh? What just happened? You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um, who? What, are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies, I said, didn't I? Yes, Lord High Lord, that's his title. That's right, and I'm sick to the teeth of you were sniveling and mourning. A proper crybaby bunting you are. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days. I'm surprised there's a drop. Honestly, at this point, if I were Oliver, I would smash that thing with a chair. The chair is right there. Or stab him with the fork. Again, the fork is right there. Anyone who behaves like this to, to a kid who just lost his mom should probably uh, at least at the very least get punched mm -hmm. Tidy. I like you stay very honest and stay that way okay take you far well on with the show um, that's not a okay see it's like a way see, to, to behave is, period there's more worlds out there than this one by you there's what you might call parallel worlds see they like worlds along by the side of you were one and one of those worlds is my world that's right the whole another world another world that's quick you are and i that is the lord high lord of the fairies the reason i'm by you in this world of you was well it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds see shadar the dark jinn his name is and what he did was shadar over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world tried to stand up to him i did and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into you as the rotter uh-huh and then you went and cried all over me and poof the curse was lifted just like that which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure hearted one. The one the legends say will uh -huh. save the world. Just goes As to usual, Agnes is pure hearted. Commander. So, anyway, that means I better get you I mean, he is a kid, so. Have you get rid of Shadar for us, all right, with you? Past the age of four or five, which is when kids develop empathy. Uh, they are, <clears throat> for all intents and purposes, innocent. Oh, want me to ask properly, do you, Fedus? What? And yeah, kids don't. Uh, kids aren't born with empathy. They develop it as a skill at a, a certain point. No. Some obviously don't develop it at all. Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you say? Uh, probably. Go on once more, but like. Probably, uh, you've probably seen them on the news as adults. They usually end up on the news for one reason or another. Usually one reason. Yes, sir. So this works, see? Gee whiz, that but yeah, swell. kids aren't born with it's empathy. Things are done. It's tradition. How am I supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. But I don't know anything about your world. And I just can't right now. Well, after yeah, uh, the there. this uh, prologue, yeah. if you will, is done with, photo, I'm going uh, to end the episode. Uh, Hurry up, will you? I am there all day. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Let's see now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. Then we might just be able to save your mum. Huh? What are you talking about? You ready for another UFO? Yeah. 
And it's here comes the, uh, the my quest. World are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there called a soulmate, see? And people with yep. soulmates can even look like each other. Now, your mom, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does <clears throat> that help us save her? Well, well, Alicia tried to yeah. take on the dark djinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the soul snare. When mm -hmm. that happened, then the link between hers and you and mom's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link, and who knows, it might even bring your mom back. And here we go. Is really this true? is the motivation. I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. You know what Drippy reminds me of? Wait. Um, How do you Waldo know this, Mr. Derby? from uh, from you Black Mirror. This whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings on over there. How? I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there too, having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? As you can probably guess by now, hmm? uh, is Drippy it? is exaggerating oh. his position among the fairies. I'll do it. I'll come to your world. I'll come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvellous! You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy! We better get going then. Chop, chop! Okay. But how do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Mm -hmm. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there so nosy parkers won't find it. But why would anybody hide something in there? That's for me to know and you to find out. Look lively! Better question is, who hid it? I mean, Drippy was a... a doll. Excuse me. <clears throat> was a doll this whole time. Wait, oh, there we go. Yeah, this is confusing because I'm not able to move the camera. What could be hidden in a place like this? A mighty spell book! Huh? A book? It's what ashes. Burn in there? Not this book. Yeah. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't, now, would it? Really? Aha, gotcha! There we are. <coughs> this is a spell book? Mm -hmm. That there is the wizard's companion, the fount of all wizarding knowledge. The wizard's companion. Indeed. It's a spell book. Now, here's the, um, the fun part. <clears throat> uh-huh. Need to make a pledge. Obviously, I'm going to write Orion. Yes, I'm happy with the name Orion. So, here's the, the fun part. You know those symbols you've been seeing in the loading screens? Those are actually all spells from the book. What is it? Every single one of them. I mean, Dumbledore did fine without a wand. Oh, that's a pain. Ah, uh, well, can't be helped. We'll just have to look for one outside. Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Oh, ah, so the crybaby bit was right, at least was it. Oh. Kick him in the face. Kick him in the face, Oliver. Aw. You are literally a fairy. Yes, you're made of wizarding equipment. Wow. Brown and sticky, like a stick. Now, <clears throat> when he says brown and sticky, he means stick-shaped, not sticky as in, uh, you know, sticky. Yeah, yeah, it's too big. I mean, I'm just following you around.
bottomless bag. Finally. Now we can actually see the goal in the minimap. Sorry, on the minimap. English grammar is not my forte. I mean, why not just snap off a twig? Right? You're, you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep, she is. Met before. Yes, that, that's so, what Oliver just said. How do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where so are who you? do you think that girl is? Going. Hey, where did you go? I'll be honest, I don't remember. So... Um... She disappeared again. You know, oh, it's going to be uh, a That's mystery for me as well. That's until either I remember, to to or... Um, you know, we reached that You're part right of the strange. game. I can't see her any flipping way. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure, go ahead. Do you mind it? You know, having a sidekick, like... Huh? A sidekick? You're Lord High Lord of the Fairies, aren't you? Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean me! I wanted to know if it was alright me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. But yeah, I sure. I got my answer, huh? Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground. Right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here, then. Top. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Indeed. Come over here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic right in on it. See? That is an actual awesome. language, by the way. You can is translate that. I don't remember what it translates to, so it but you power. can translate it. But for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato. What a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Dude, I never thought we'd actually find one. Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? Right, now we need a place to cast our spell. To cast yep. gateway, you need somewhere proper massive. You need space to give it oomph, see? Do we really need that much oomph? <laughs> yeah, what kind of person is that? Magic is special, in it? It's sick. You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. You really are new to I this, I mean, that's fair it? enough, Listen. right? Oh, uh, sorry. No, take me somewhere. You do need, uh... Um, the town Yeah, yeah, town square. You do need good conditions for magic. Everybody knows that. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Yeah, you can't sprint. Here we go, town square. Do you really think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Yeah, nobody's gonna be able nobody's gonna be able to see. Go on, Ollie boy, cast gateway. Um And see? Gateway. It's one of the symbols that showed up. It's also the first spell you learn. You got it! All of these spells are composed of <coughs> two types of lines. 
one is uh, it has like curves or whatever. The other uh, in red is the last one, and it activates the spell. And each rune, if you will, also kind of resembles the. Uh, the spell that it is. So gateway, for example, it's like you're drawing an arch and then splitting it down the middle to make it open. Kick him in the teeth! You know, I thought that was very interesting. I'll uh, definitely mention that in my review, obviously. Well, the prologue is actually taking quite a bit longer th than I thought. All right, see, see the one? Did you see the one in the loading screen just now? So the first one that you draw is the uh, the one that goes up and down, and then the last one, straight line. I was actually disappointed because you don't need to draw them. So they're here, but you don't actually need to do anything to, to cast them. You just select, and it's cast automatically. <coughs> oh, there's also something else uh, you'll notice as the. Uh, as I go through the story. You'll see. Look lively, he's making his move. You'll see when when I unlock and uh, like five or six spells. We can do this. It's again going to be something that I find very interesting. So here's how combat works. Right, this is the tutorial. Right, so as you can see, you select the, the options here, then you select the target. Now note the timer, you see? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, enemies dro uh, drop these things, so note the timer. When the timer fills up, um, you... Uh, you can press, uh, you can attack again. You see, he, he's going to keep attacking until the timer is up, or until I press B. And that's how combat works in Ninokuni Wrath of the White Witch. Keep in mind that although Oliver will keep attacking until I cancel, that also means that I can't order him to do anything else until the timer expires. At least if memory serves. Even if I cancel, I think I have to wait a bit for the timer to, to elapse or something. Again, if memory serves. I haven't played this in a long time. You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. You might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it, but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. No, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder. Yes, that is the actual name of the place, the Ding Lucky Dong Dell. With a bit more oomph down by there. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things, but since Shadar showed up, Magic's taking a real nosedive. Yeah, magic is now. It, yeah. Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? And evil. Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Yes, the Just Lord High Lord of the Fairies. Make most folks break it. Shadar. He's basically Voldemort. Heart. No one wants to be broken hearted. Broken hearted? Like, sad? 
Worse than that, much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they Yeah, uh, broken hearted in, in this context man. means that the person so becomes unable so to him. feel a certain emotion. We can't let him go on doing this. Uh, and so they're, they're overtaken by other things. So for example, if you take away a person's kindness, or a generosity, let's use generosity for example, they become greedy. If you take away a person's kindness, they, uh, they become uh, hostile to everything and everyone. They just keep wanting to hurt people and it's stuff like that all right let's head for ding dong dell tidy well as soon as i can i just gotta uh yeah as soon as i can i'll pause i just got an achievement because i actually played this um on my boyfriend's uh, PlayStation, not on on Steam. <clears throat> right, let's pick up the item. Obviously, I can't seem to. Okay, there we go. Finally. So, um, as always, I hope you enjoyed. I do apologize that this took so so long. Uh, apparently almost 45 minutes, so I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again next time.